In Cameroon, the domestic timber industry is hugely important to the economy and creates thousands of jobs. But due to a lack of government regulation, the entire industry is effectively criminalized and approximately half of the country's timber is sold on the black market. This is bad news for the forests, for the government and for the thousands of Cameroonians who are directly and indirectly reliant on the trade. Le plus grand défi aujourd'hui au niveau des, des, des vendeurs de bois, c'est juste de pouvoir vendre le bois légal. Bon, ça c'est le, 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 le problème du gouvernement, c'est le gouvernement qui connaît pourquoi il refuse de rendre ce, ce secteur-là légal. Seulement, à l'heure actuelle, c'est comme s'il y a un blocage que certains individus refusent d'arriver à ce niveau-là pour faire profiter l'État, pour que l'État récupère quelque chose sur ce que nous faisons. Research conducted by C4 has found that the informal timber sector accounts for more than 30 million euros a year to local economies, almost three times as much as formal taxes redistributed from the formal timber sector. Yet this industry is largely operating outside of the legal framework and is not accounted for. Because the domestic timber trade falls outside of the law, Harvesting, transporting, processing and selling are unregulated and the government is missing an opportunity to obtain formal revenues from the timber. The greatest regret is that the, all the money we pay go into the pocket of individuals. Individuals are feed, feeding fat behind the government. The government is remaining poor at every juncture, at the, the, the forest administration, which is the forest guard or the gendarmerie on the way they, they will impose on us to, to begin to give money. When you are doing in, in, in any business, Everybody who present in front of you and ask for anything you are forced to do because you have no other option. For instance, in a forestry checkpoint on the way, when they will tell me that my way B is not authentic, what should I do? I must do something to continue my, my journey because I have no, no backing to, to, tell the, to, to take the person to the force of law and order and say no, this is what the law says. To fight back against corruption, Cameroon's timber traders in 2012 formed an association called ANCOVA to ensure they be included in the formal timber industry. Nous avions même expliqué depuis que nous voulons aussi payer nos taxes à l'État. Nous voulons nous-mêmes trouver notre compte dans notre activité et pouvoir payer les taxes à l'État pour que l'État, qui est notre organisme qui protège nos droits et nous-mêmes physiquement, que nous puissions aussi contribuer au bien-être de l'État. Sinon, on a trop de difficultés dans notre activité. C'est très important que, au moins, vous commencez à recorder ce qui est sorti de votre forêt. Et donc, si vous ne commencez pas, au moins, à recorder certaines de ces productions, c'est très difficile pour le gouvernement de venir avec des stratégies de long terme. C'est une tâche task parce qu'il y a des thousands et des thousands de personnes. Donc, ce n'est pas facile pour un gouvernement qui est connu pour des ressources, uh, understaffed, etc. I feel that there is more will, willingness today to tackle this issue than there was in the past. Under a voluntary partnership agreement signed with the European Union, the Cameroonian government is now attempting to legalize the entire timber production chain. While no legal framework has yet been finalized, both informal loggers and the government are in talks with each other to promote more openness and transparency.